Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This is James Holder, Pryfall TV, in association with Matt and Jim Marbao. With me, I've got Charlie Edwards, head of his world title challenge against Casemiro. Also joined by trainer Danny Vaughan. How are you, gentlemen? All oh, good, James. Thanks very much. Good. Who has got the best suntan in camp? That's what I want to know. I've you guys come over, you always look healthy. I think he's been on the sunbed since he's been home, James. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that why it's, you wore that, that yellow? Yeah, just stand out. Show me town. I've got to stand out any more than everybody else. I bet. How was your ten-week camp been, mate? Uh, it's been great from start to finish. We've had no blips. We've had some great sparring. We've just had a great team around me. I've had my strength conditioning coach Cameron Goff over as well. My little brother's been pushing me, standing beside me. And Danny's really put, put the work in with me over the last ten weeks. It's been. It's couldn't have gone any better. Really. No, no, no. Couldn't have gone better. What's the logic in taking this shot so early? I mean, he's only nine fights into his into his pro career. Career. An opportunity like this comes up, no doubt he's, he's destined to get there eventually. But what was the logic behind taking Casemiro so early? We as a team think he's ready, James. If you, if you work with him day in, day out, you know he's ready. People are saying it's too early, the shots come too early, but we fully believe and we know that he's ready for it. Eddie's not stupid, Daniel, the manager, myself, we've been around a long time in the game and he's ready for it. And he'll show on a Saturday night. What dare, have you... dare to be great. You've got, to, you've got to take your shots when they come up, and when I win on Saturday, everyone will realise how good of a move it was. What have you made of Casemiro watching him in his fights beforehand? So, a little bit of what do you expect him on Saturday? We expect him to come and look for us. I mean, he's in the lion's den. Charlie, you know, we couldn't ask for any more. He's a London kid fighting in the O2 on such a big bill. He's going to rise to the occasion, but we're expecting Casemiro to come early. We'll watch them. He loads up, he can punch a little bit, but we're going to box him. You know, we've got on the move. He's sort of fighting, he sets himself and looks at uh, explosive punches all the time, but we're going to box him. We're ready to do you know, 12 rounds standing on our head. Message to all the fans, everyone in Epsom and everyone in, 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 in Croydon, London. What, where does the Epsom thing come from? I don't know. I don't know. But where does it come from? Is just from a different area. Croydon, yeah, I get Epsom all the time. <laughs> But um, I just want to say thank you to everyone, all my sponsors. Um, it's without them, it's it is hard. They've really got behind me, supported me big time. All the support back home on social media, Twitter, Instagram. It's great. It's great, and we're finally here. We're back in back in London, back in my hometown, and I'm ready to introduce myself to the world scene. Do you have to pinch yourself a little bit? The fact that the sort of if you like co-support, yeah, top chief support on yeah, such a said, big bill, the likes of Luke Lofty and and really. Right, that's the best way. I don't want to dwell like, like be, oh, world title, world title. I want to be chilled, relaxed, calm before the storm. It's just another opponent in front of me, and I need to get through. We know what we're up against, James. We know he's a two-time world champion. We know what he's all about. We know he can punch, but he's going to have to be on top of his game to be this on Saturday night because we fully believe that we're going to be world champions Saturday night. The main event sees obviously Canadian block and Mikel Brook in action. Everybody's got an opinion on the fight. No doubt you guys will, will have your opinion. Can you, can you talk to me about the fight? How how do you see it playing out? Um, I think it's a very tough ask for Kelbrook. Like he's a great fighter, but that's that well off. Um, I think it's going to be hard, hard for him with uh, Golovkin's power. But you never know. Like he's got speed as well, and he can hit a move. So it's going to be an interesting one. But heart with hearts and, and my mind, I've got to go with Golovkin. What have we learned about Golovkin in the fights that he's had? The likes of even against Matthew Macklin, the likes of Lemieux. What what do we know about Golovkin coming into this fight? It just looks like every fight we're out seeing him in, it looks like he's got more gears to go through teams. It looks like he's stopping fellas in second and third gear. I think there's so much more to come from him. Power-wise, it's phenomenal. I mean, I like Kel as a person, I like to dominate his team, but me as a boxing fan, and my opinion is, I can't see him going past seven, eight pounds. If Kel Brook was your fighter, what tactics would you deploy to, to stop someone like Golovkin, or even nullify him over 12 rounds? How would you go about that? I don't know, it's a tricky one. It's the power situation with him. You could be at, you know, six rounds up, and he's only got to catch you once, and then everything turns on, it, turns on its head. But the big factor is how Kel, you know, with him being a welterweight, how he moves around as a middleweight in there. You know, he hasn't done it before with the weight issue, so I can only see one winner. Eddie Earn said that Kel Brook won't be too far on the night. From, from when he boxes at 147 at the weight he fights on fight yeah, night. Well, that's, so, well, that's do, you, do you think that's a, that's a 
That's a good thing, is that a bad thing? What are your thoughts on that? I'm, I've never been in the gym with him, so I don't know how he spars or what weight he is around the gym, but if he's used to it, well, listen, he must, he must know what they're doing. He wouldn't take the fight if he didn't think he could do it at that weight, so good luck to the kid, but I just can't see him beating him. Win or lose, do you think that makes the possibility well, of the Delcourt is, Khan keep... more realistic if he becomes through this? Well, that's it, he can move back down to Welter, can't he, and fight at Welter, so he's on really, you know, the... My personal opinion is I just can't see it. Listen, wish you the best of luck with the fight. I know how much it means to you and well done for taking the opportunity because as I said, this, things like this, it, it, you've got to grab these opportunities when they come up. So fair play and more power to you. And Thanks very much, James. Thank you. Pound free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now.